In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Commander Picara for the Revenge of Sith line. Probably one of my personal favorite clone commanders from the entirety of the Star Wars universe. Uh, if you know anything about him, he is the basically the lead commander of the Galactic Marines. And his reputation is he's pretty much one of the biggest hard asses in the entire clone army. He's known for being very aggressive and having high casualty count. Like, he seems to be very effective in the way he does, and wins all the battles he goes into. It's a very unique armor design, as you see here. I don't think we've really gotten too many other clone troopers that utilize his armor scheme, other than, the, like, the Battlefront II Heavy Trooper. And there's also... I know there's a clone trooper pack that came out around this time as well. It has more of a blue scheme to him, and utilizes the uh, Bakara armor that you see here. So it's a really cool action figure. I'm glad to own it. I didn't actually get this until... Oh, it's probably been about... I actually got this the same time as Commander Bly, I think. And I only paid maybe around 10 to $13 for it. Still a fairly affordable action figure. He did get a re-release later on that's missing... Uh, there's a few modifications between this one and that one. And I'll point those out here in a little bit. I do have both versions of the Commander Bacara to show you. But this one's definitely probably the cheaper one. And it's good enough for what it is. I have no complaints about this. I know some people probably would prefer the other one over this one for one small detail. Uh, so, of course he comes in the standard Revenge of Sith package. And he also has the little pamphlet here it comes with every single one of these action figures no differences about that at all so we'll just jump into the figure it's a really nice sculpting work I think he is other than maybe the helmet and then uh, from the waist up He's just reutilizing re some of the previous clone trooper parts for the legs down. It's a nice uh, purplish maroon color mahogany. It's a very unique color scheme for the Galactic Marines. Some black antenna there, and then lots of grays, some red dots. Kind of looks like a precursor to the snow trooper armor. And he does have a slightly different pauldron here. And as far as I can tell, you can't take it off. I suppose if he wanted to move his arms around and try and take it off, or even if you're really serious about it, you could cut it. I think he would look odd without it. And his comma here. So in terms of articulation, he does have a ball joint to head. Uh, so he does have a hinged shoulder here, and a hinged elbow, and a swivel wrist. And for this side, it's utilizing an action feature. And if you don't use the action feature, all you have is a swivel shoulder, then a swivel elbow, and a swivel wrist. So the action feature here is you just squeeze his legs, and his arms go up like that. I know a lot of people don't like it and find it kind of cheap. It's not too bad on Bakari here. I mean can't really tell he has an action feature about him. But it is kind of interesting that uh, he was released much later in the Revenge of Sith line and by then they're still utilizing action, action features. Especially when most of the action figures at this point didn't have any. Uh, no articulation in the waist. 
but he does have swivel hips and then hinged knees and hinged ankles. So pretty good articulation. In terms of weapons and accessories, he just comes with two DC-15 rifles. Standard short one here. Nothing more I can really say about that. And he also comes with a longer rifle. The only difference between this and a lot of the other ones is he has the brown stalk here. Which is also utilized on the quick draw attack clone trooper. Which was the very first, pretty sure it was the very first phase 2 clone trooper that was released at the time. And we haven't seen that on too many clone trooper action figures over the years. I think pretty much just Bakara, the quick draw attack clone. And there may have been one or two others out there, but it's not very common. So as I mentioned, Bakara did get a re-release in the Legacy Collection with a few modifications. And that's this action figure right here. I do think he has a little bit of a darker purple about him, as you can see in the comma there and then the pauldron and then the gray in his helmet is a little bit lighter and the pauldron he's wearing this one's a much darker gray while this one's a lighter gray so maybe it's more accurate I'm not too sure uh, but the only other than the paint difference he does not have the action feature about him so he has a regular hinge at the shoulder and then hinge at the elbow and swivel wrist there so I know a lot of people probably prefer this Bakara I do think he's a little bit more expensive I actually found this loose at a comic book store back around 2019 20 and I only paid maybe about 12 bucks for it loose I have seen this go brand new, maybe in the $30 range. It's been a while since I've looked at it. I know one of the last times I have looked at it, it was probably in the $30 range. But this Revenge of Sith one seems to be consistently in like the $10 or $15 range. Like most of the Revenge of Sith figures. So before we wrap up the review, I'll just bring out some of the Galactic Marines here. I know this one on the left is technically the clone commander from the Battlefront 2 game. But still, I treat him as a Galactic Marine. I do have many more, and I'll do that in a separate video at some point showcasing all of them. I do want to, there is a Galactic Marine in the Mace Windu Attack Battalion's color scheme, and I really like to get that one before I do a Galactic Marine video. So I'm still hunting for that one, and then once I do have it, I should have all of them. I know there is one I'm missing that just has a just ever so slightly different paint modification to it, but I'm not too sure if it's really that important to have. But with these ones here, they all look really good. Like I mentioned, the Galactic Marines are probably some of my favorite clones. I'm not really sure if they're considered a Legion, though. They possibly might be. I've never really heard them referred to as a Legion. It's just the Galactic Marines, and that's it. And they're one of the very few clone trooper groups that just goes by a generic name like that instead of like the 501st or the 212th or you name it. And these guys saw a lot in the Star Wars universe. A lot of action. I believe uh, Commander Fey I think is also part of the Galactic Marines as well. Even though he's oftentimes associated with the 41st Elite. 
And I'm trying to think, there was another commander too. Oh, uh, Commander Keller was also part of the Galactic Marines. Which I do have that pack with uh, Commander Keller and Galactic Marine reviewed on the channel if you want to check that out as well. Uh, but other than that, would I recommend Bakara for your collection? I totally would. Even the Revenge of the Sith one over this one. Uh, the action feature, it doesn't really bother me that much and you can barely notice it anyway. It's just a little bit of a hindrance in his left arm there, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. And for being only 10 or $15, I don't think anybody can really complain. If you're willing to spend a little bit more or you have a little bit bigger budget, sure, get the Legacy Collection character. Rather loose or brand new. Just whichever you prefer. But either or, they're both solid action figures and I recommend them both. And if you can only have one or the other, it's just your personal preference. So anyways, that concludes this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for plenty more reviews in the future. There will be lots more to come. And if you have not already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciate your support. Check out the links in the description as well. Thanks for watching.